Okay, so this little fire device, uh, I just saw that you can get it now for around 100 euros without the uh, FL Studio license. So this is really a steal now and it became a real powerhouse now with Bitwig. And I crammed in some additional new features which are really nice. So if you start now playback, you will see now the VU meters here on the track as well. And it's even getting better if you switch here. Uh, in that mode, so we're in a mixer mode, you can now toggle to a different mode with Alt and pressing that one again, so we're still in mixer, but you have now a few of all uh, 16 currently available tracks on that page and you see the selected track is the white one and this makes especially sense if you go here to this mix mode and uh, where you see the different 16 uh, channels and you see also the selected one is blinking white and here it's a really fast to navigate uh, in your tracks and you see also the names of the tracks if you start playback you will see the view meters of all your tracks so this i think is pretty helpful and a nice addition to this little device uh, this works also in channel mode so if you go to a drum track here we have a drum machine loaded you can go here uh, now to the channel oh by the way it's also possible to move upwards so if you do shift and press it you can go up to channel from here so mixer and up to channel and uh, yeah let's go to a drum so here we have uh, the, the drum mode uh, with the four drum sounds currently edible and let's select the first one and also if you play back here you see also here the view meter and you can toggle this as well here with the alt key and pressing that one and then you will see the four currently active pads and also here if you play you will see here the playback and uh, yeah if you change here the volume you can see changing volume if you touch panorama you will also see panorama I forgot about that one and also sense if we have sense you can also see the sense settings of these four channels so let's go back to the mixer here yeah here works the same so here also you can change here the volume you change the panorama you see the, your panorama of all your tracks you can see your sense of all 16 tracks and so on so <laughs> pretty helpful feature for this little guy here uh, there's also some other nice little additions to that for example if you go here to the clip view you see now the currently selected clip is blinking so this helps a little bit uh, navigating around here in the session view and you always see which of your clips is the selected one and is it the one you are currently editing in the sequences and there's also some other nice little changes for example if we go here in the here we go into the note sequencer you can now transpose here the sequence if you use the shift key and the select knob you can transpose it so let's go up one you see it went up one let's go another one and it went up another one. Yeah, and by the way, besides the Ableton Push 2, it's the only controller currently supported in Bitwig which has a full graphical display. So yeah, I think Fire, this is really a fun toy to get and uh, for that cheap price, I think, don't think about it and have some fun with Bitwig with the Fire and make some funky music.